remember in sixth grade when the first social media website came out called MySpace, and everyone who was an anyone joined the MySpace community. Since MySpace, the social media websites have taken over the world from Facebook to Twitter to LinkedIn to different blogs and even dating websites. Everyone's involved in some way or another. Michael Armstrong of Strong Blogs said on May 27, 2013, that social media is now the number one activity on the web. Social media is a growing part of our society. Today we will discuss what kind of social media people use and why, what social media has become to people, and what the next big social media website will be. 100% of people surveyed use social media in some form or another. Facebook is the most popular among all age groups. Uh, I, among younger, younger people, Twitter and Instagram are the most popular. Media Bistro stated on January 4, 2013 that 300 million pictures are uploaded to Facebook every day via Instagram. From CNN Money, Ryan Holmes of Fortune Magazine stated on January 10, 2013 that in December 2010, a little-known app for sharing photos with funky retro filters announced it had signed up its millionth user. Fast forward two years, and Instagram is a social media titan with more than 100 million users. Some 58 photos are uploaded to the service every second. So why do people use it, you ask? Mostly to stay in contact with friends and family who live a distance away, or to connect with old high school and college friends. Or they may use it to post statuses or ask for advice from other Facebook friends. Everyone is involved in some way or another with social media because of how rapidly it's growing. Many have become attached to social media, but not everyone relies on it and thinks it's beneficial. 25% of people said that they could give it up. The other 75% said that they would not be able to, or it'd be harder, because of the distance in their friendships, it'd be harder to stay in contact with people. Most think social media is beneficial, but some say it's more distracting than anything. On April 26, 2013, an admin posted an article called The Dangers of Social Networking for Your Identity. The article mentions that people, and even businesses, now heavily rely on social networking sites to get connected and make their presence known. One of the most effective ways to communicate and publicly get a point across. For businesses, it's a powerful way to promote a brand or service. So businesses still think it's beneficial to promote themselves through social media websites. Just because social media has become such a huge part of our everyday lives does not mean everyone is attached and unwilling to give it up. As of right now, there are hundreds of social media websites out there, ranging from a wide variety of tasks. The next question is, what will the next big social media website be? Some think it will be for job and business interactions. As you heard earlier, businesses are using it to promote themselves. Others think it will be live interactions, such as Skype, as well as being able to post things such as Facebook and Twitter. Some think it will be more dating websites, even though there are already hundreds of dating websites already out there. Or others think it will be a combination of everything, where you can still post things as well as uh, use it for jobs or live interaction. Some that are already in the process include one called Nextdoor, which is where you enter your address and it connects you with your neighbors and your peers. Then you enter in your hobbies and interests and it will connect you with people in your um, community who have the same interests and activities as you. This was found from Nick from S Grouples on May 9, 2013. Or any old site may make a comeback, such as MySpace, MySpace who, has got, who has gotten a facelift and is now like Pinterest with the same old MySpace things like the music on your webpage. We discovered that today's use of social media has grown into everyone's lives in a vast number of ways and websites but not everyone finds it beneficial to use these sites. We can also see an insight in a, of what we believe the next big site will be. Every year the social media site expands and someday it will take over everything from our jobs to our personal relationships. We must make sure to stay updated so we don't fall behind of today and tomorrow's technology.